So first of all, it's quite a simple question. What, what, what did you take away from today being on, on the session? You know, what, was, what were the key points that you came away with? I think we tried to map out various issues which should be addressed by the civil society groups, NGOs, researchers, think tanks who are present here. We tried to put together the big picture so that tomorrow and day after tomorrow when groups go into uh, detailed discussions, they know the, the bigger picture. So that we have tried to do uh, to our best of our abilities uh, in the panel discussions which we had. And I think based on that discussion and the kind of questions which were raised by the participants and also the observations made by the participants, so that shows that there is a much greater interest to know the big picture, but also to work out some concrete programs, some concrete activities on how to reform and change the global financial system. So that's my key takeaway from the today's uh, presentations. And I think you were the only person who mentioned the P word, the politics word. Yes. <laughs> and I, I think you were quite strong that that is one way through, that you have to change politics to yes. change. Yes. Can you tell me about that? Yes, because if you look at who are the decision makers who decide how the money should be created, how it should be spent. It's not the ordinary people in Holland, it's not the ordinary people in India or any African country or any other country. It's decided by our political masters. Who are the people who sits on the boards of World Bank and IMF? After all, these are multilateral organizations representing 150 countries. Again, it's our political leaders and the bureaucrats. They decide what to do in these institutions. So the entire agenda setting, whether at the national level or at the international level, is carried out by our elected uh, representatives. And if we are not happy with the state of affairs at the national level or at the local level or at the international level, I think we need to decide and we need to change the decision-making processes. How can we change decision-making processes in a democratically uh, uh, country? I think the best way is through politics. After all, how these people get into power? Through elections, through politics. So why can't we influence that process? And I think uh, politics matters much more than anything else. But I feel that there is a tendency in some civil society groups, not in all, but in some civil society groups, that politics is bad, we should stay away from politics because it's corrupt, politicians are corrupt. But I don't think that kind of uh, analysis is required. Of course, a lot of our politicians are corrupt. The electoral process is very expensive. You too. So you need a lot of money, you know. But despite that, I think if we want to change things democratically, not through use of violence, then the politics is the best way to do that. Brilliant. One last question, and uh, it's quite a simple question. It's uh, what does the Eurodad conference, you know, what does it mean? Is it is it relevant? Is it? Actually, this is the first Eurodad conference I have been attending. I was invited to the, I think, two or three previous conferences several years ago, but due to my other, you know, my preoccupations with other stuff, I could not attend that. But based on my uh, today's presentation, I can fairly say that this conference is very interesting because uh, it consists of uh, a wide range of uh, civil society groups. You know. There are some development practitioners who are doing development at the local level. So they have their own ideas, they have their own experiences, they have their own wisdom. Then we got a few researchers, you know, who are looking these issues in a more theoretical way, in a more academic way. And then we also got think tanks and some policy uh, makers, you know, who are involved uh, with the government processes, with the official processes. 
So I think this this combination of all these uh, players is very interesting. And I think there is a lot of scope to learn uh, from each other. And I look forward to learning from other colleagues in this conference over the next three days.